of the society. I call the honourable member for Sydney and the deputy leader of the opposition. And thank you so much, Mr. Deputy Speaker. And I rise tonight on a very serious issue. Today, the O'Farrell government have dropped a bomb on the inner city of Sydney. They have announced today, with no consultation and no warning, that they will sell almost 300 properties in Millers Point in Sydney—300 homes that have been public housing for some for generations, uh, families that have lived in Millers Point for one or two or three generations. People often ask what is the difference between a house and a home. And the difference between a house and a home is the family who lives there, the people who live there. And you could just as easily ask the same question about a suburb. What's the difference between a suburb and a community? The difference between a suburb and a community are the people who live there, the people who put their roots down there, the people who have sent their children to school there, the people who know each other, who know their neighbours, who help each other. And that's what Miller's point is. It's a community. It's a community with a long history. And it's a community um, that has supported and cared for each other throughout that long history. We're talking about an area that has a history as long as the European settlement of Sydney. And for, for that time, there have been working class people living there. Uh, stevedores, people who worked on the docks, people who worked on the Hungry Mile, who saw the depression, who saw the plague, uh, who um, have seen Sydney change and grow through the generations. And those people are part of the heart and soul of our city. We've seen cities around the world where working class people can't afford to live in the centre of the city, and Sydney will become such a city if the O'Farrell government proceeds with this decision. This is a devastating decision and a deep shock to the tenants who've lived here all their lives and in some cases are the second or third generation of people to have done so. With no consultation, they've been told today that they'll have to move. Um, from homes that are uh, homes that have been theirs all their lives. Um, I condemn the decision of the O'Farrell government making uh, making this decision, but I have to say I also hold the Abbott government responsible for this. This is a government that refuses to the I don't know the guy who's sitting at the table I don't know his name. He says, "Oh yeah, I'm sure it's our fault." Your government will not sign the National Partnership Agreement on, uh, on homelessness, which expires on the 30th of June. What do you think that that uncertainty does to homelessness services? What do you think it does to their clients? This is a government federally that won't support and won't uh, announce whether it will support another round of funding for the National Affordable Housing Agreement. Mm. How can states plan and build and fund their public housing when they can't hear from the federal government what sort of funds will be available for them in the future? And we've seen over this last week, we've seen this softening up exercise start with criticisms about social housing and criticisms about the National Rental Affordability Scheme. Two excellent programs. The National Rental Affordability Scheme has already um, built 14,000 homes in Australia, another 24,000 in the pipeline. It's a program, incidentally, that the states contribute a quarter of the funding to, right. with states uh, selecting the projects that go ahead exactly. in, in cooperation with the Commonwealth Government. And we've seen the softening up now when it comes to social housing. The previous federal Liberal did government nothing. did nothing, nothing for social housing. And now we have a state Liberal government uh, who, when in opposition, opposed the stimulus package. They had Liberals out there campaigning against new social housing being built in their electorates. Well, true to form, we have the O'Farrell government now selling 300 homes. 300 family homes from a community in the centre of Sydney, and we have an Abbott government who won't lift a finger to stop it, and they won't lift a finger to, fo uh, to fund affordable housing in the future. We've seen the softening up exercise. That's national right. rental affordability schemes going to go. The national partnership on homelessness won't be re-signed, and the national affordable housing agreement that's going to go too, because this is a federal government that has no respect for public housing tenants, working with a state government that has no respect for public housing tenants and no respect for the families and the communities that they've built in inner city Sydney in Millers Point. I am devastated and I am disgusted to see this action from the O'Farrell government yeah, yeah. today. I think Absolutely. it is a betrayal of the people it's of inner city Sydney. They may as well have dropped a bomb 
on the centre of Sydney for the damage that they'll do to the community that's been there for generations.